Is Ron Rivera turning things around in Washington? And if so, why are we just now getting things turned around? Why has it taken so long? Hi, I'm Greg, and welcome to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and with that said, let's get into today's video. So, Ron Rivera, obviously a very happy coach yesterday. I mean, he was just showing his pearly whites uh, during uh, press time. I mean, just, you can tell he's just, he's he's soaking all of this in, and he wants to, to just continue to soak it in until about Wednesday when they get back down to business, looking at game film, getting ready for the Carolina Panthers this coming Sunday. Um, so, why is it that it seems like whenever a coach is going to turn things around for our team, they wait until it's almost at the, the brink of death. You know, like last year, uh, the Washington football team was two and six and they went on a run, finished seven and nine, but won the NFC East, got into the playoffs. Um, this year, they were two and six. Nobody expected them to have much of a showing against the defending Super Bowl champions, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and yet they pretty much handled them throughout the entire game. Uh, the defense kept Tom Brady in check for the most part, forced two turnovers early in the game, just played their their guts out is what Joe Gibbs would say. And Taylor Heineke probably had one of his best games of his career. I mean, he was just spot on. Uh, his timing was was impeccable. He, he had great passes that just, you know, fit into tight areas where they needed to be in order to complete the pass. I mean, just everything was in Washington's favor on Sunday. And I don't think you get that way by being lucky. I, I think that uh, definitely the hard work and everything, the, all the effort that they put into it to prepare for that game paid off, and it showed. Now, of course, you know, it also showed because players were having to step up because of leaders like Chase Young uh, getting injured and being out of the game and then already not having Montez Sweat and a few other <clears throat> names that were still trying to get back as well. So it was a great effort, and you could see that coaching was, was spot on. You know, all of the players, honestly, this team played as if it was one of the games that you would watch during the 1980s at the height of their uh, glory years, you would say. Now, you may say, Greg, that, that is uh, taking it a little too far, but actually it's not. I mean, during the 80s, you would not see a lot of missed tackles on defense. You would not see a lot of miscues and things like that. And if you did, then that's one of the few games that Washington would lose. But most of the time, you always saw solid tackles. Um, you would stop what they call rack. And just, you know, they played like a well-oiled unit. And that's how they played Sunday. And that gave you a glimpse of what Ron Rivera, what, what a Ron Rivera's coach team can give to you we just have to be patient, I think, at this point. But is it too late for this season? Probably. Uh, I mean, now the team can most certainly go on a, a big run, just like they did last year, because, I mean, let's face it, you beat the Super Bowl, defending Super Bowl champions, uh, a team that probably everybody expects to be at least in the NFC championship conference game at the end of the season, why would you not feel like you can beat the rest of the teams on your schedule? The rest of the teams are beatable. And honestly, you look back at some of the other games that people would have pegged you for not even having a chance in, and you beat yourself. You know, like the Green Bay game, the Kansas City game, you know, games like that. I mean, Washington's looking at, hey, you know, we were close, and maybe we're starting to see that. It's very hard to see that when the team continues to lose. But when they put together a complete game like they did on Sunday, you start to see, oh, I see what you're seeing, Ron. And it's very hard because 
a lot of us have already jumped off the Ron Rivera bandwagon. And this win this past Sunday may not have even convinced you. I think it did convince some folks that, okay, maybe I will stick around for a little bit longer. Because guess what? Winning solves everything. And when this team wins, everybody's happy. When this team loses, everybody is arguing, jawing with each other. So let's let's just see what happens. I mean, let's just enjoy football. Uh, they're three and six. They're going against Carolina Panthers team that, you know, I feel like it's a very evenly matched game. Um, and I think, you know, both teams are coming off pretty big wins. So let's see what happens. Carolina has Cam Newton back. Uh, so, you know, they're riding off the high of having uh, their old Superman leader back. So let's see what happens. Uh, if Washington's able to, you know, start a little run here, I mean, who knows what happens? You know, if, if they're able to get to the NFC East division stretch uh, toward, you know, the latter half of the season, it doesn't matter the records when you start playing against the Cowboys, the Giants, the Eagles. You know, these are games you have to win. And if Washington feels pretty confident at that point and they're on a high because they're winning and who knows what happens i mean you know the cowboys probably will wind up winning the division but you know washington still has a chance so who knows um i i'm just going to enjoy it you know after seeing what they have the ability to do there's no reason why they can't do it and i fully expect washington to play better for the rest of the season. I think they they have obviously seen what that they could do from beating somebody like Tampa Bay. I mean, Tom Brady's the holy grail. If you can beat him, you feel like you can beat pretty much anybody. And yes, Tom Brady has a bad day every now and then, but he still had an opportunity to win the game, and we shut that door with a 10-plus minute, 19 play drive I have not seen that in years and that is a Joe Gibbs drive right there I mean that that's like ode to Joe Gibbs because I saw that on a regular basis back in the 80s when uh, the Redskins were one of the top teams in the league so this is what you do this is what Ron Rivera wants to do you know you you play these teams tough you get a lead and then you get the ball, and you shut the door on them. And I think they have some confidence. You know, football is much of a mental game as it is physical. And when you're winning, that drives you to do more. And I really believe this is probably going to jumpstart them uh, to winning. I mean, I, I feel like they could probably at least go 6-2. and two. Uh, and, and I realize that that probably sounds like a um, burgundy and gold colored glasses type of um, uh, statement, but you know, six and two, they go that way. They're, they're what, uh, nine and seven, nine and eight. So, I mean, yeah, that probably doesn't get them in the playoffs, but that definitely shows you that things are continuing to improve. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think that Ron Rivera is turning things around? He made whatever adjustments he made uh, during the bye week definitely worked. So let me know uh, in the comments section below. Uh, and if you enjoy, if you're enjoying this video and you're enjoying these raw, uncut, unprofessional videos that I have been doing here lately, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, I've got more coming and. Um, Feel free to take a look at some some of my older videos. I had a little more time to put into the editing. Uh, these right now, I'm just trying to do them in the morning before work, uh, trying to get things out to you, just wanting to talk to other fans and talk about my favorite subject, Washington football team. Take care, folks.